Yeah, okay. So, uh, in parallel, can you open NetSuite as well? Or do you uh, want me to ping you the URL and everything here, whichever works for you? Okay. Uh, uh, can you send me that? Uh, what is the link for uh, accessing the NetSuite? Uh... You have it, you do it through Tenet Portal, right? That, uh, okay. You Just don't have. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, Dashboard.datacloud. Uh, Something. Yeah, yeah, got, got, got. I think you're you're sharing only one uh, uh, screen, one particular tab or thing, right? So I think I've I've pinged you the link here. It's fine. I have always pinged on uh, Zoom chat. No, no, I was uh, able to uh, get there. Uh... So can I pitch a URL? URL, okay. Yeah. So okay. put the method as get. Okay. Paste that URL, which is uh, under here. Enter request URL. Yes, yes. Send okay. it. No, no, no. I don't wait, man. Okay. okay. You have to say. You have to put the uh, token details and everything, right? Okay. Okay. So I paste it here. You yes. Uh, yeah. This is fine. Uh, now uh, go to uh, OAuth two dot o in uh, as part of authentication method. You have already selected type as OAuth 1.0, right? Sorry, yeah, 1.0, 1.0. This is fine. Okay, 1.0, sorry. Yeah, 1.0 okay. is fine. Okay. And then uh, paste that URL as well. Uh, can you just re re reduce this response field here from uh, somewhere here? Or you can just show, you know, so that I can see more sure, of it. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. Correct. So uh, I have pinged you the values. So put consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and token secret, those four values. I pinged on Zoom chat. Consumer key ending with six six yes. Then you have consumer secret, which is ending with a three eight. Yes. Then you have token ID will go to go in access token, ending with zero three zero d three. And then you have token secret. Uh, going to seven seven nine. That's it, right? Okay. Now uh, select the signature method is SHA two. Uh, sorry, SHA two fifty six. The first yeah. drop down. Yeah, signature method. No, no. Yeah, here on the right side only. You have oh, before consumer key. Yeah, signature right. method. 256, SHA 256. The second one, second one, no, no, not RSA. HMAC, second, second from the top. Hmm. Uh, scroll down. Um, Timestamp version. Yeah, under uh, last field, which is real, you have to put the uh, account ID. So let me ping you the account ID from here. You can paste it, but no, not in this format. Maybe wait. Company, company, information. Yeah, I'm sharing now. Put it, put this one. Remove if there is any remove if there is any additional space. Yeah. No, no, there's nothing. Um, okay. So, what is uh, there's a yeah. So this is uh, specified by the user. So here, I mean, this will authenticate the account you are trying to access to. Uh, okay. in this case, and then uh, we don't have a callback URL and all that is not required. Uh, scroll up, I think that is it. And on from this add authorization data to, you have uh, this on the left side, you have a drop down, right? 
yeah so you mm -hmm. put request body head uh, request body request yeah the first one yes now let's go to uh, params the first uh, sub tab next just before authorizing yeah, params so these are the one which are already coming the script okay. id and deployment id is already there now uh, put a key uh, and the key put it as record type the script id is auto scan right based yeah, on the token because it's based on the url based on the url okay yeah the deploy one deploy id is or deploy id this is a deployment id right which is one okay. you okay. see the url yeah okay, okay. yeah put the key as a uh, record type let me ping you the exact name here and one more key as id so the value is id or the no no are... not value value i'll tell you let's see which record we want to open Okay. Yeah. So okay. let's say if we want to, uh, this is a get method, right? So let's say okay. if I want to access um, a customer, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. give the person record type is customer. I'm pinging you the value here. So and the record type. Put it as customer, and okay. ID is uh, eight eight nine five. Okay. So no disturbance. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Now uh, click send. Okay, this is all good, right? Okay. Yep. Yep, sending. So where would this uh, send to? To no, click, click on the yeah. It will. Try to access Netflix. Click on this uh, response. Click on console on the left side bottom. Um, you have console. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Click on console. So you're getting yes. invalid body, invalid login attempt. Okay. Uh, sorry. Huh. One additional thing. Click go to body. But this is get right. Get does not require. No, no, not this body. Um, go to params. Yeah, params once again. Yeah, uh, here. Uh, what? Add one more uh, uh, thing, uh, which will be no, not here, not params. Go to headers. Sorry, I'm mean, um, okay. So yeah, and key. Put it as uh, application content type. Content type. You will, as soon as you will select, you will see content type. Uh, value as uh, application type application. You will see. You see third one application JSON. Yeah. Try clicking on send now. So again, error. Invalid login attempt. Okay. So it says invalid login attempt. Um, if I access this execution log, REST web services doesn't does not show me anything. Invalid login attempt. Uh, Restlet is correct. Restlet API is correct. Authentication isn't getting successful. Did I miss anything? Token based. This is what we do. Let's look at something. We got it. Did I miss anything? Let me uh, just quickly trying it. So do we have? Machine. Do we? Okay. Is there anything else uh, we need to put in the header or body? No. So pre, what is pre-request uh, script? Uh, 
uh, sorry. Pre-request. Oh, if uh, no pre-request script. If there is anything you want to run before uh, calling the uh, calling this, so we can put some. See, we can put some custom body also. We can put some uh, extra additional script logic if there is needed. So we are not. I mean, we are not even going till that level. We are just testing a basic thing, right? So, but this authorization. That's weird. That has never happened. Okay. Okay, I think it is one thing which okay. Yeah, go to params. Oh, sorry, authorization. Yeah, from this uh, add authorization data to drop down, right? Select request headers. Yeah, okay. now click send. Still. Really? For me, it is working. Very long in attempt. Did you can you see in these these token values if it is uh, by any chance you have an additional space or anything? Mm -mm. Hey, okay, we, we can check again. So params, right? No, params uh, is fine. Params is fine. I'm talking about the token. These token values, yeah. Okay, let's if they have an additional uh, space or anything. There is no space. No space here. No space here. Uh, I can I can do a delete uh, just to make sure. Again, this is fine. Account ID version is fine. Can you check these check boxes also? Yeah, second one also, add empty parameters. Yeah, click on send. No, four zero four not found. Invalid scriptlet ID. This will be very disabled or no longer, no longer yes. exists. Same, same error. Just kidding. Really? But it is working fine. Yeah. Sweetlet is there, it is deployed and it is active. And I am able to access it. I am getting the data also in the response. But the same thing. If I copy it here and try a JSON modifier. Okay, we have shared the same token, same URL, both one or two. Scroll down, uh, scroll down on the authorization only. Authorization only, huh? You this value. No, scroll down. Scroll down. Check. Encode the parameters in the authorization header. <laughs> Uncheck this add empty parameters to signature. Uncheck add empty parameters. Try now. Why is it giving you 404 when it is working fine for me? From this drop down on left side, you have uh, no, on the left side. Uh, this is request headers only selected, right? Add authorization data to request headers. Second option. Second option. Yeah. That is the thing we have selected. Real token ID token secret. Wow. So where, where is this uh, invalid script ID scriptlet ID? So maybe we should just check that. Yes. So here it is all good, right? 
integration logs there are no execution logs also script id where in params yeah script id 4225 deploy one record type as customer with everything small and id is 8895 Record type customer eight eight nine five yeah same in headers I have added content type JSON you also have same thing right yeah okay. application JSON yes yeah. body there's nothing anything in setting here no. Yeah. Oh. Um. So this is it. Uh, there is nothing else. Uh, uh, okay. Let me try post also from my end. ट Can you try now? Click send. Oh no, it is working. Yeah. So uh, no, uh, this two hundred is okay, right? Yeah. Okay. But we got the data in this format, which I don't think is JSON. Yeah, well, the way okay. we are returning is JSON dot stringify. Okay. now the get part is fine this is the format we are returning it it should be in json by the way but this is not how it looks okay and let's try the post part also we'll see why the response is looking like this uh in the post can you change the same thing can you change the method to post Will yeah. be the same same URL. URL. No, no. We'll have to pass the field value, field name, everything, right? That's okay. that's the parameter, and the parameters. Oh yeah. You are less fine. You are less fine. Huh? Oh. So record type is okay. Customer. Uh, now field name and field value. Uh, should we pass it as body? Let me see. Yeah. So, uh, record type customer, field name and field value would be uh, context on name of I pass that should give me field value. Yeah, so let's pass the uh, field name. Uh, put the parameter as. Let me ping you the value exactly here. And now, if I put it in, no, remove ID. You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, I can. Ah, huh. remove this ID. Ah, uh, let's pass the field name as. Uh, email yeah 
or should we if we want to make it as uh, body uh, raw key ping man but where is the script uh, getting executed from here Bit no, you can go to NetSuite and see. But we did not put any log. Let me, so let me put a, lo- a line where you can at least see the log, right? Yeah. So let me put that. Okay, this is logged out again. Great. 